Well, good evening, folks. So I got a package in the mail. Well, not quite in the mail. King FedEx, but kind of like the mail. So what is it, you ask? Well, hydraulic spring compressor. Now, why would I need a hydraulic spring compressor, you might ask? Well, I'll tell you why. So, my son's girlfriend's got that Montero, and uh, she's got a new job where she's got to do a lot more driving. So, anyways, the shocks in the front are gone, but they're, uh, the shock and the spring and everything is integral. It's a McPherson strut. So last weekend we had a quick look at it, but um, when I did my other son's car, we just bought the shock spring assembly, changed it that way. It was much simpler, but that vehicle, you can just get the shocks, you can't get the springs, uh, spring assembly. So if you go on YouTube, there's lots of videos about how to uh, compress those springs so you can get the uh, shock off but uh, some of them are pretty sketchy um, so they, anyhow they make a two olds a couple of rods and uh, clips clips on the spring and then you just take alternate tighten about the rods and it compresses the spring there but even that thing's a bit hinky looking so I thought well maybe I could just make something to use in my hydraulic press so I went on to the YouTubes and uh, discovered that you can buy the uh, very similar to what I was thinking of making. You can buy it on Amazon. So free shipping. Got here in a week. Um, and it wasn't much more expensive than the other, the uh, mechanical kind. You know, it was. You know, I want to say a hundred bucks more. And this, this one, as long as it works, should be a much better way of doing it. So anyways, just going to open it up, assemble it, and then probably we will uh, do... shock replacement this weekend. Basically survived the shipping. Classic uh, classic China piece of machinery. A little rough around the edges, but hopefully functional. Yes. 
So take me to your leader. So it's set up for uh, two sizes of springs. This this will be the one we need here. This, this looks like the strut sized spring. This guy here is the one that goes on the bottom. standard. Hmm. Appears to be a 916. No, 
let's spill my beer. That would be most unfortunate. off so it can settle a bit. All else fails, read the instructions.
Camera check. Those too tight, that's the uh, the adjustment for different uh, spring heights. Let's see here. Check my camera angle. Uh, so I couldn't find that nut there. It's on the floor somewhere. It'll turn up. Some metric piece of junk. Well, that's basically how it operates. Yeah, I guess once you have a little spring pressure on it, it'll uh, come back on a lot faster. Anyways, there it is. Um, hopefully give it a test this weekend. And see what it does. I'll put a link, the Amazon link in the uh, description of the video. Hopefully it works. I think I've seen them on uh, YouTube though, guys using them. They seem to work pretty well actually. So to me it's a much safer way of, uh, of doing it. Anyway, stay tuned. We'll put it through its paces.